Hello everybody, Happy New Year and welcome to the show. Tansy Tompkins here, celebrity PR guru. Oh, I'm thanking Miss Sprouts that the silly season is over now and it's a good time to get serious and focused about the new year. Right now, while you're letting go of all those gaseous reminders from too many rum balls, not to mention the 48 bottles of kava that you consumed over Christmas, it's time to make your New Year's resolutions. Why make resolutions? Because you can be a better person. I bet you know somebody who seems perfect. Somebody who always looks terrific. Somebody who manages to give lots of time to both family and career. Somebody whose house is spotless. Whose children are well behaved. And they're so skinny that the bra fits better on the back than it does on the front. Yeah, thank God I haven't got any friends like that. But you are wondering, aren't you? How do those skinny perfect cows do it all? Stop wondering and do something. Get off that sofa and put some jogging bottoms on. And start making some resolutions so you can become a better you. So my project this month is to do a makeover on my lovely friend Petunia who put on £25 over Christmas. She rang me up and she said, Tans, I need your help. My face looks like a bloated life raft. I said to her, how did you get so damn chunky, love? She said, you know, Tansy, Christmas overload. I couldn't say no. I would love to be thin, Tansy, but every year I make the same New Year's resolution, which is I will lose weight but my thighs are still the width of the Mersey Tunnel. So I've invited her to come on the show. Come on, Petunia, love. Could you just mind your hips on the ornaments, love? Bit tricky for a woman of your build. Oh, she's quite shy. She's not going to come up on camera. She lost all her confidence when we were at SeaWorld last week. The ticket lady turned to her and said, come on, love, you're on in five minutes. It was very upsetting. And then I said to her, Petunia, my darling, I cannot ignore the elephant in the room anymore. We need to sort you out. So I said to her, what's gone wrong? And she said, oh, Tansy, I've been fed a lot of wrong information. I thought, it's not the only thing you've been fed, love. I thought tuna was something to hold the mayonnaise together with. I thought milk did the body good. Holy cow, Petunia. How many gallons did you drink? Your cereal bowl should come with a lifeguard. OK, love, so let's get a few things straight here. A balanced diet is not a mince pie in each hand. Carrot cake does not count as a serving of vegetables. Okay, says Petunia. I'm gonna go on that caveman diet and just eat meat. I'm like, it's not gonna work for your long-term love. Cavemen used to run around for a week trying to catch that meat. That's why they were thin. If you tracked a cheesecake over the Welsh mountains for five days, you'd lose weight too. I know. Keeping New Year's resolutions can be very difficult, but you can do it if you set realistic goals. In the meantime, if you are struggling with your weight goals, you can buy my new diet book, which has been inspired by my lovely friend Petunia here. It's a sensitively written booklet for people who've got really large over the Christmas period. It's called Put That Down. Fatty. Well, I hope that's been motivational for you and helps you with your battle with the Christmas bilge. Happy New Year and stay tuned for more tips on the way.